Hello everyone. Uh, today I introduce how to connect the Mini 6 uh, for the Mitsubishi Electronic CN19 uh, solution. This is a Mini 6. Firstly, we connect, we use a RJ45 connector. Uh, this is a standard 568B type uh, connected with uh, adapters RJ45 connector. And, and this side uh, we connect with the nest base. You can check uh, our another video uh, how to connect with the nest base. Uh, this is okay. Then we connect the offered cable uh, with uh, the adapt side connect here and then another side we connect uh, to the indoor PCB CN19 connector firstly we find CN19 connect here we, we connect the cables plus into the CN19 connector then we pour, pour on the adapter Uh, the adapter, the nest, and the indoor unit are well connected. So many friends ask me if we can remove the original remote controller from the indoor unit uh, after connect to the adapters. The answer is cannot. We must keep the original remote controller because it is a whole system uh, the original remote controller act as a monitor. You can check the uh, working state of the internet from the uh, original remote controller screen. And when the internet has some issue, you can check the error code. So uh, after connect the adapter, never remove the original remote controller. If you not like it, on the wall, you can hide it in the ceiling. Okay, now we can start up the cooling model. We will see the indoor start start up cooling model, and we check the uh, remote controller. It is start cooling model two. If we turn off the in controller manually, we will see the adapter will sync the nest state to the remote controller. It will uh, restart up the cooling model again. And we can change the fan model here on the nest to medium. We will see uh, the, the remote controller fan speed change and the set point is changed at the same time. So uh, use the drop air adapter, the set point on the uh, remote controller is not the fix. Fix when it, it is it can change with the fan speed. Uh, which now we change to the fan speed to high. Uh, we will see Remote controller fan speed change to high and set point to change to the 90, 19. So it will help you to reach the touch temperature more quickly. Uh, so uh, it, now we turn off the cooling model. We will see the original fan uh, remote controller turn off the cooling model too. Now, if we turn on the uh, remote controller manually, we will see because the nest is not cooling, so uh, it will uh, automatically turn off too. We can also turn on the fan, fan model uh, with the nest. We will see a uh, remote controller. We we'll turn on the fan model. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like our video, please thumbs up and subscribe our channel. Thank you.